I am certain that Welcome to Plathville should be cancelled as its authenticity is coming into question. I've been watching the show since the beginning and have expert knowledge of all the on- and off-screen drama. Welcome to Plathville Season 6 is currently airing, and the show has captivated viewers since its premiere in November 2019. The hit TLC reality show follows the Plath family, which is comprised of parents Barry and Kim Plath, and eight of their ten children, Ethan, Mariah, Micah, Lydia, Isaac, Amber, Kasha, and Mercy Plath. There are a total of ten Plath kids, but middle son Joshua Plath died in 2008, and eldest sibling Hosanna Plath has chosen not to participate in the show. The Plath parents raised their children in a religious and ultra-conservative environment, and Kim homeschooled all the children. Barry and Kim sheltered the kids on a farm in small-town Cairo, Georgia. Over the last six seasons, much has changed in the Plath family dynamic and Kim and Barry's willingness to accept change. However, I avidly believe there are points about the show now that don't make it quality reality television anymore. Eldest son Ethan was newly married to Olivia Plath in Welcome to Plathville Season 1. Their early marriage was joyous, as both of them were breaking free from their separate conservative worlds and trying a lot of new things together. Olivia had more worldly experience than Ethan when they married, as she was an established wedding photographer. They lived together in Cairo in the early seasons before moving to Tampa with Mariah and Olivia's brother, and then to Minnesota on their own later. As the seasons went on, TLC couple Ethan and Olivia grew apart and started to resent each other for several reasons. Namely, the fact that Olivia had extreme disdain for Kim and Barry and the way Ethan was brought up. She was hypercritical of Ethan's views. Ethan was split between wanting a relationship with his family and wanting his marriage with Olivia to work, which made for good reality TV. The other negative element in their marriage was Ethan's steadfast nature and having traditional values and Olivia's insistence that Ethan not be so close-minded. Ultimately, I feel it became obvious their differences in Olivia not wanting anything to do with the Plaths and their ever-differing outlooks and life desires drove them to get divorced. Ethan and Olivia's marriage has been a major storyline of all six seasons, and now that they are split, the Welcome to Plathville storyline is fractured. Olivia now has her own narrative on the show, which I am certain draws away from the show's quality and original intention and makes the show more chaotic. Along with Ethan and Olivia's separation went the core drama of Welcome to Plathville, and so did the beef between Olivia and the Plath family. Olivia ended up falling out with everyone by season 5, which seemed to be good for Olivia personally regarding her boundaries, but I think it was not good for the drama of the reality show. Olivia first had friction with Kim and Barry over how they raised their kids. Kim and Olivia's rift grew more when Olivia accused Kim of using Ethan's credit cards. From there, all the Plath children, sans Ethan, rallied behind their mom to dispute the allegations. Furthermore, Mariah and Olivia feuded over Mariah accusing Olivia of stealing her music, and Micah had harsh views of Olivia being a toxic and unrelenting person. The many tense moments between Olivia and the Plaths were the show's bread and butter, and without it, the show seems lacking for valuable drama. Now, Olivia is in a world all her own on the show, and the only drama to come for her is how her sister Lydia Grace feels about her new relationship, which viewers will be introduced to next episode. Welcome to Plathville needed Olivia in the mix with the Plaths for relevancy. Now, I believe the show is grabbing its straws, which I think means it should be cancelled. In Welcome to Plathville Season 4, Kim and Barry announced to the world and their children that they were separating and seeking a divorce. I know this was a big blow to the show, but it did take it in an interesting direction regarding the newly changed dynamics of the Plath family. However, by Season 6 now, I'm certain the divide is played out. Barry and Kim no longer hold on tight to their reins of overbearing and authoritarian parenting. While I think it has been nice seeing a change in the pair, it is not a strong enough storyline to sustain the show. Another huge contention with TLC's Welcome to Plathville that I need to bring up is the heightened amount of manufactured drama that has been put in front of viewers in Season 6. In one episode, Olivia had what appeared to be a set-up scene involving a sex education party that she organized with people who happened to be Micah's old LA friends. Moreover, the Plath family is getting together twice this season as a whole unit despite the divorce, and those situations make it seem like production is putting those situations in place to further the show's agenda now that Olivia's out of the Plath picture. 
Having manufactured or predetermined scenes is not a good direction for a reality TV show because I know it pushes away fans who want to see authentic drama and genuine moments. I am certain that Welcome to Plathville is flailing this season, and the show doesn't have enough dramatic value on its own to warrant a continuation of the series. However, many fans have grown attached to watching the Plath family grow before their eyes, and it's possible that season May 6th not be the end, despite what I think are credible reasons for it to end.